I've learned with bread is that it's really not, the measurements don't have to be exact. <laughs> as long as you've got enough yeast and flour water ratio is good, you're making bread. I think, I don't even measure the yeast actually. I know it's something like three teaspoons and whoa that was a lot i keep meaning to google if like anything like what are the adverse effects of adding too much yeast to your bread because I, I mean obviously you don't want to add like half a cup of yeast but it, i don't know <laughs> what would happen <laughs> all right i've stirred this enough i'm gonna let this bloom I'm gonna put it up. Whoa! I'm gonna put it over here, and then I'm gonna chop up my herbs. I'm having such a lovely morning. Nice slow morning. I did kind of a yoga out. Yoga out. I did a yoga out. That's <laughs> that's the new term that I just coined. <laughs> a yoga out. I did a yoga out. Anywho, okay. So getting ready to make this wet mixture which is going to involve salt, sugar, the herbs. That's what I'm doing. So I harvested Vana Tulsi, Cuban Oregano, and Gota Cola, which is kind of like my trifecta lately. It's just what I have the most handy and um, or what's most accessible to me right now. And they smell good. They taste good together. They're medicinal. I love Gota Cola. If you don't know about Gota Cola, definitely go read about it. I write a little bit about it in my Herbal Elixirs book that I just posted on my website. It's a Nervine. It enhances cognitive function, improves memory, yada yada yada. And it's not a sedative. Uh, here in my garden, I have a lot of sedative herbs. And in the past few years, I have worked a lot with slightly sedative herbs. Um, and if they're, they're not completely sedative, they're def they're like muscle relaxants, um, antispasmodics, just very calming for the nervous system. Basically, the opposite of giving you like energy and pep in your day. Um, there are a few exceptions. Like I have turmeric. I have ginger those are not sedative nervine herbs um those are quite they improve circulation and that's what i want more of so i have been trying to have more um circul circulatory tonics and um lymphagogues and things that stimulate movement rather than calming me down so go to cola is is one that's not a sedative so I'm just chopping some herbs and I put, I like to add the herbs into my wet mixture and then they're just right in the dough by the time I start kneading it. I've tried it other ways where I add them while kneading or try to add them during the second rise and it's really quite impractical. And I think I tried that thinking that through kneading I was going to damage the herbs and like really oxidize them and create this kind of brown because you know like if you muddle herbs they turn brown but that's not what happened at all and so yeah I find it's fine to just add them in the wet mixture it's the best method. I'm adding this to my mixing bowl bloomed yeast this was one and one third cup of water two tablespoons of yeast because I accidentally poured a bunch in there Stirring with the herbs, I'm going to add salt at this point. And I may add a little extra sugar because I like a, just a slightly sweet bread. I'm doing two tablespoons of salt. I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. About, that was maybe a tablespoon or two. <laughs> Oops. Okay, add one cup at a time, stir 
until it's incorporated. Look over stirring. I am a little spacey today. I had very vivid dreams. Strange dreams. That was two cups. I'm going for about three and a half, maybe just three. Okay, the dough has come together. Dust my surface here. Looks like I'm gonna have just enough flour. This floured surface. And we're kneading. I'm gonna knead this for like eight minutes. Obviously, I don't have a stand mixer. I do this by hand, old fashioned way. It's a nice way to spend the morning. So I'll knead this and then let it rise for two hours and then punch it down, let it rise for another half an hour and then I'll steam it and it'll be ready around lunchtime. <laughs> It's ready. but it's also edible and medicinal. It's a fermented drink that can be made with the roots and supposedly the very young leaves are edible. I've never eaten them, um, but the leaves are perfectly safe to use for steaming. So I'm going to use them to line the steam basket. all that yeast I added. <laughs> We're only 90 minutes into this rise and it is massive. Just punch out the air. I'm gonna do eight so there will be a center one and then seven around it. So I've got eight little buns and I'll show you how I do this. It looks beautiful and I'm going to let these rise for another half an hour and uh, 20 minutes in I'll, I'll start boiling the water and then we'll steam. I brought the pot to a rolling boil and now I'm going to set. I'm going to make sure this lid is really tight fitting that way it's really trapping the heat in the basket and we're just gonna put this on it's really hot in there yeah, that's pretty much it and now I'm gonna set a timer uh, we're gonna do 40 minutes Ooh. looks amazing show you. Wow. So it bounces back so it's all done a pot with a colander in it, 
just gonna take this off and set it right here. Absolutely beautiful. So you can see what I meant by kind of like a sunflower with the tea leaves. And all of these pieces will pull apart really easily, like a pull apart kind of bread and can be used as rolls or sandwiches. <laughs> oh, I love it. And it's gonna be so delicious too. Oh wow. It smells like bread, of course, but I think that's the tea leaf. I didn't realize until now that the tea leaf has a, a kind of a distinct smell and it's kind of like vegetable-y but lemony. It's mild and it, it's not overpowering or or bad in any way, it's really pleasant. Almost kind of like floral, floral vegetable lemony. It like perfectly complements the bread and the yeastiness of the bread. Yay, I am so happy with this one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cover it and go take care of some things and then come back later and I'll cut it and show you.